Now, when you're a former member of the British Armed Forces, you have this thing called a bullshit detector, and it goes off quite loudly when you see something that's blatantly a lie, such as this story. Now, a lot of misinformation, shall we say, has come out of this uh, Ukraine conflict. And I understand that misinformation and lies can be used psychologically against the enemy, which is fine, you know, all is fair in love and war, as they say. Stories such as the uh, so-called ghost of Ukraine. Now, if you remember early on in the uh, Ukraine conflict, the mainstream media, the Ukraine military, and even social media, they were peddling this story of a legendary <laughs> Ukrainian fighter pilot who was shooting down Russian planes in, in droves. But it turns out it was a lie. And uh, the footage used of this fighter pilot in action was from a console, <laughs> like a PlayStation Xbox console game. It was even trending on Twitter, and uh, there was a <laughs> photo, I remember a photo on Twitter of this uh, fighter pilot grinning, and they were saying, this is the ghost of Ukraine, he's a colonel, can we find him, we love him. Uh, anyway, it turns out it was all bollocks, but it was quite funny. And so the latest uh, questionable <laughs> heroics out of the Ukraine is this legendary sniper. Now, this sniper allegedly killed a Russian soldier at a distance of 2,710 metres, which is just short of two miles. And it's overtaken the record set by one of our own, a Royal Marine Corporal who shot dead two Taliban twats at a range of 2,475 metres in Helmand, Afghanistan, back in 2009. So this Ukrainian sniper now has <laughs> the uh, second long-range kill in the world. And just so you know, the longest confirmed sniper kill was by an unnamed Canadian sniper at a distance of 3,540 metres. Now, there is footage of this sniper kill by the Ukrainian online, but I'm not going to show it for YouTube reasons. But this is the screenshot in front of you now, and it's a heat vision camera or a heat vision scope which was mounted on this guy's rifle. And as soon as I saw this photo, I knew it was a lie. Because I know for a fact, at that distance, the crosshairs would not be centre mass on the victim's body. At that distance, even with a, uh, a 50 caliber sniper rifle, that crosshair would be well above the target. Now, when you shoot a rifle of any kind, science does come into consideration. Because a bullet, when it comes out of a gun, or shot out of a barrel, it doesn't travel straight. It dips. Gravity pulls it down. Wind pushes it left or right. And even at extreme long ranges, there's the Coriolis effect theory, which suggests that as the uh, round or the bullet is travelling through the air, and because the distance between the shot and the target is extreme... By the time the bullet has hit the target, the earth underneath has rotated as it does floating through space. And also, when the shot is taken, the camera or the scope shakes and the victim uh, drops dead immediately. Now, when the longest confirmed sniper kill was, uh, when it was taken, the Predator drone that captured it on camera timed that shot as 10 seconds because of the extreme range. And yet this Ukrainian sniper put the crosshairs of his scope centre mass to the victim, and as soon as he took the shot, the victim dropped dead. So there was no time at all between the round being shot out of the barrel and entering the victim at such a distance. And so for those facts alone, I'm calling bullshit on this sniper's shot, and I'm calling bullshit on this footage. You know, the people peddling this crap, they forget that they will be serving and former members of armed forces all over the world watching this and saying exactly the same thing. Why the fuck are you lying to us? It's just a blatant, stupid, ill-thought-out lie. I mean, all they had to do to, you know, at least try and convince us was put the crosshairs of the scope on top of the target. But the uh, propaganda machine just didn't think of that, did it? Stupid idiot. Anyway, that's my video. Hope you like let me know what you think in the comments. Don't even think of disproving this because I know I'm right. <laughs> and uh, people need to realise that war is nothing like Call of Duty. So there we go. And this is why I don't believe anything that comes out of Ukraine anyway. I really don't. First that jet fighter, now this sniper. 
I mean, what next? A former Ukrainian special forces officer who's now a, a chef <laughs> on, uh, I, I don't know, a train somewhere. And he saves that train from Russian military hijackers. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my video. Let me know what you think. And until the next time, Roger Trout.